Yo, what it do? It's your boy Joey Teens, and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. <laughs> what it do, my backup singers? It is your boy Joey Sings, and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video with me. If this is your first time seeing this face, you guys hit subscribe as well as that bell so you don't miss out on brand new videos like this. First things first, y'all probably like Joey Sings, your eyes is closed, and I'm like. There's a reason, okay, honey? There's a reason that these eyes is closed, but I can still see, okay, the questions. Because I asked you guys like five days ago to send me some questions for a quarantine, quarantine, quarantine Q&A, honey. And y'all did. And today, I'm about to answer those questions, you guys, but I could not do it. What's the word? Um, what's I could not do it, um... What's the word? It was a Demi Lovato song. Sober. Okay, I couldn't do it sober, y'all. Because I have been losing my mind. And I needed something to just, like, lift my spirits, honey. And if you know anything about weed, weed will lift your spirits, okay? Lift you right up off the seat and into that refrigerator, honey. And then you be eating everything. And then you be gaining weight. And you wonder why. But listen, not today. It lifted me right on up to this chair, honey, to shoot this video. Mm-hmm. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And y'all better leave a comment down below saying, thank you, Jesus, for the weed. Because the weed uplifted your week today, honey. <laughs> yes, Lord. Let it use me. Okay, boom. But y'all, I got the questions put up right here on my iPad, y'all. I'm about to show it on up. We are about to get it on in. Let's do it. Yo, what it do? It's your boy, Joey Sings. I want to be ready, oh. I want to just call you and tell you that you are a dummy, so let me go. I know what goes around, comes around. But that ain't enough, oh, no, you broke. Smoking bitch, I ain't got time for shit. I'm getting high and I'm having a good time. Alright, you guys have the questions right here, and I'm about to just start scrolling through and answering the questions randomly, honey. Okay? Y'all so random. So they with a chance was on Disney Plus. Let me tell you why I fucking binge watched it. Y'all, I binge watch Sunny with a chance. Oh, Jimmy Lovato, no, she my girl. Brr, I've been rocking with her since, you know, as the bell rings. Some of y'all don't even know that about it because y'all too young. Anyways, oh, I'm old. Okay, shut up. We finna answer these questions, y'all. The first question comes from Tanya Townsend. Hi, Tanya. How are you doing today, love? Tanya says, hey, Joey, I like your reactions to Road Trip TV. They released a trailer for a documentary of Shepherd's Bush. Could you react to that? Tanya, honey bunches of oats. Yes, I can. And yes, I did. The video is up, sugar. But of course, these questions is like five days. Oh, so you want to ask? No, 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 no. But yes, honey, I did that video. Check it out, y'all. The next question comes from Devante Tasker. Devante got to be black. With a name like Devante. Devante. Tell me you're not one of them little bad cheering that be out here cussing at people and fighting and jumping off stuff because I know a whole bunch of Devontae's. And them little things was bad growing up, girl. Needed beatings and everything. Devontae, don't be like the other Devontae's. Be you, Devontae, okay? Don't be mean and crazy, okay? Devontae, be smart, okay? Power to Devontae. Devontae said, what's something you've always wanted to do but felt you'd be judged for so you haven't? Ooh, Devontae. See, Devontae, you asking me questions like this, I already like you, Devontae. See, because you using your noggin, Devontae. Okay, boom. Um, Devontae, I've always wanted to do drag. I've always wanted to put on the wig with the overdone makeup, like the titties, girl. I just wanted to always get in the drag and do like a good ass show, honey. Eat it up, honey. And then, you know, be done. But... I do feel like people judging me, judgment from my friends, judgment from my family. Because, you know, people always tell you they're here for you, they fucks with you. But the minute you do something they don't like or they don't understand, it becomes a very different situation. So I'm very cautious of what I do because I am afraid of people judging me. So, yeah, I've always wanted to do drag, but haven't. So if there are any other YouTubers out there who want to, you know, link up, you got to live near me because I'm too broke to come and see you, honey. Um, And we can do, like... A drag makeover, you can turn me into a drag type of thing because that would be super duper fucking cute. Slide into my DMs. Boom, honey, y'all. The next question comes from Dark Ages of Fear. That's a name, honey. Dark Ages of Fear. 
Okay. Um, they say, hi, Joey. I'll ask you this one. Are you a fan of Cimarelli? Yes, I love Cimarelli. I've been watching Cimarelli since Party in the USA, honey, since Delaney. Okay, since before Danny was even in the group. Boom, I've been watching. Okay, I'm a fan. Okay, because every time you post a video about your reaction, I always see Cimarelli videos. I am also a fan of SimFam. Honey, you can't be that big of a fan of SimFam if you didn't know that I was a fan of SimFam because everybody know that Joey Scenes is a part of the SimFam. Where you been, love? But I fucks with you for asking me that question, though, so... That hit was for you, Dark Ages. You might need a hit with the name Dark Ages. But I love you, okay? Y'all, the next question, because I know you fucking lying. You really want me to try to say your name? Uh, uh, uh. Let me hit this blunt first. Hold up. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. Don't be offended if I butcher your name because you don't know who got this name on here. I don't even know. Is this your real name? Because if it's your real name, I apologize. So I'm going to try my best. Um, it's called um, Shahiro. Fujisaki. That's all I'm doing. We is not saying it no more. They say first kiss story. Ooh. My first kiss story. Okay. Okay, guys. So my first kiss with the boy, I remember it like it was yesterday because it was lucky me, you know. It was my crush, you guys. Okay, boom. I was in the fifth grade because I had a crush on this boy. Listen, y'all, he was so beautiful. He was white. He was like a little shorter than me. He had this long, beautiful hair. Oh, uh, my God. His eyes were like blue girl. I had the biggest crush on this boy, right? We was in two different classes, but our classes always had lunch together. So me and him always sat together, you know, boom to the boom. He lived near me. We rode the bus together, y'all. We was really, really close. Like, our birthdays were a couple days apart. Listen, Joey, you're off track. <laughs> oh, memory lane. Anyways, y'all, so, um, yeah. We ended up staying at this friend's house of ours. It was, like, a slumber party. All our friends were there, y'all. We was playing, like, hide-and-go-seek and... Man, huh? Y'all, we was just doing shit that niggas do. You know, little boys do little boy shit. Period. Period. Okay. So we hiding up under the bed, right? Boom. Okay, boom. So I can't even, I can't even believe I'm telling this story. Oh my goodness. So we're under the bed hiding, right? I didn't know that he was like under the bed with me. So I slid under the bed. He was right there. And he like reached around. And he grabbed my no-no areas, right? And he was holding it. And I was like, um, bruh, that's my no-no area. You gotta let that go, right? Like, let it go. And he was like, shh. And I was like, bruh, what the fuck you doing, right? So then he like pulled my no-no areas to like till I like turned around facing him. And he just like grabbed me and like stuck his tongue in my mouth. And it was like literally the best day of my life, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is literally the best day of my life. I was like, okay, he grabbed my no-no area, so he, you know, let me know that, okay, he like, <laughs> uh, and then he was getting my attention, but when he kissed me, y'all, oh my God, I literally melted into my seat, y'all. Me and him never dated, because, you know, I was in the fifth grade, but we were old enough to know that we, you know, like each other, so it was very obvious that we liked each other, because we always, like, spun around, you know, we hung out a lot, we kissed a lot, da da We didn't do none of the other stuff, because I was inappropriate, okay? Yeah. Boom. But yeah, y'all, literally was my crush. And we literally did this thing for years. I want to say from like fifth grade to like seventh grade, we were like, we liked each other, but we couldn't tell each other. So we had girlfriends. It was just a mess. But yeah, that was my first kiss. I remember it. I haven't seen him or heard from him. I don't even know if, where he's at in life. But hi. <laughs> there he is. Shut up. Y'all got me. Oh, look at you. I can't stand you. Um, What's your name? Yeah, that person who be not saying that no more. I can't stand you. Got to be over here thinking about stuff like that. Uh-uh. Next question. See, my blunt done went out. Telling y'all that story. But it's fine, y'all. We good. The next question comes from Kara Lee. She said, have you ever been in a relationship? Yes. I have been in multiple relationships. Um, My longest relationship I've ever been in was three years. And it ended with heartbreak and disaster. Okay. Don't rush into relationships, you guys. That is my biggest problem. Like, no fucking lie. I fall so fast. Like, I'm in love with you in, like, three days. I'm ready to get married, move in together. And um, that is my flaw. 
Because if you find somebody just like you and y'all fall real quick, y'all don't really get to know each other. And then you miss out on a lot of shit that could have saved their relationship in the beginning. So, boom. That's the tea on that, hunty. I almost need to like this blunt back up, girl. I thought I was going to be stressed out. All right, y'all. So, the next question comes from... I'm going to say Larissa Gonzalez. Because why is it a Z? Is it La Larissa's? Hi, Larissa. That's what we're going to go with, sugar. How you doing? What was the motivation to create a YouTube channel? Now, I think I've made a video about this before. Previously, people used to ask me why I made a YouTube video, um, YouTube channels and stuff, y'all. Okay. Well, at first, I posted the video of the girl eating her tampon reaction. I did not know what I was doing. And it, like took off overnight. It had like 15,000 subscribe, no, 15,000 views back in the days. And I thought that was a big deal. I was like, oh shit, I'm famous. Oh, but I gotta keep going, right? So then I just started posting little random videos, right? And then um, I got into a really, really bad relationship in a very, very dark place. And I needed something to help me escape reality. So I would lock myself in the room, turn the camera on and just talk to you guys and shoot reaction videos and stuff that would just take me away from what I was really dealing with in life. So YouTube pretty much brung me out of a very dark situation. And every day that I make videos and I can interact and bring a smile to somebody, guys, it just makes me feel so, so amazing. And yeah, so that's why. Now I'm over here getting emotional, girl. I don't went from blushing about to cry. I cannot deal with the questions today. Okay, boom. So the next question comes from Lollipop Candy. And they ask, what do you do during quarantine? Girl. Girl, I shoot YouTube videos and I smoke and I sleep and I eat and I shoot YouTube videos and I smoke and I eat and I do it all over again because I ain't got shit else to do. Let me know in the comments what you've been doing during quarantine. Like, what have you, you know, fell in love with? Ooh, I've been doing makeup, y'all. I've been getting into makeup more and more, getting these looks down packed. So listen, all I'm saying is, I'm loving makeup more and more every day, honey. Boom. The next question comes from, see here y'all go with these damn names that y'all want me to pronounce knowing damn well. I can't pronounce it, but the person said, um, the name is Katsuki Bakugo. That's, we gonna go with that. Hey, um, hey Kat, how you doing? They ask, have you ever been in the hospital? Yes, y'all. I have been in the hospital multiple times. I've broken my arm, stubbed my toe. I've been sick. Um, the hospital know me. They should know me by name, location, address, and everything. I've been in the hospital a lot in my life, and I don't like you. I don't like being poked on and pricked on. And, ooh, uh-uh. I don't do hospitals, y'all. Next question says, oh. Say it, huh? Okay. The next question comes from Leah the Foxy, and they ask, what is your favorite word you usually say? Fired. Bitch, everybody is fired in my life. You can ask anybody, y'all, my friends, my family, they will tell you I'm always calling, I'm telling somebody they fired. Like, bitch, you fired. Bitch, no, you're fired. Girl, you fired. Mama, you fired. Girl, I be firing people. Fired is definitely my favorite word. Like, boom, period.com, you're fired. <laughs> I can't even say it myself. Oh my goodness, Josh. So the next question comes from Serenity Lockwood. Hey, Serenity. I'm going to hit this blunt for you, Serenity, because you look like you need it because you got an S on here, and S stands for smoke. But it also stands for Serenity. But we'll go with smoke. Serenity, what you ask me, boo? Serenity said, what's the pettiest thing you've ever done? Y'all getting the stories out of me, honey. Okay, listen. So about three years ago, I was in a relationship with this guy, y'all. And I'm a very communicational person. Like, I need you to communicate with me 24-7. Tell me you going to sleep. Tell me when you wake up. Tell me when you finna go pee. Tell me when you not gonna text me back. I need you to communicate with me, okay? Damn, that's, I sound very crazy. This is, this is why guys don't stay. Okay, we started to analyze. But yeah, I was dating this guy, y'all, and he ended up going to a bar with his brothers or something, y'all. And he did not tell me he was going to the bar. Now, I had been blowing him up and hitting him up because we were supposed to hang out. Okay. Uh, violation number one. Mm. Turns out, it wasn't even his brother. 
it was the little thought from the area. Okay, the little thought from the area that we think because he a little thought, he know who he is, little dirty ass. Anyways, y'all, they was at the bar together. I said, okay, bitch, so you want to play with me? So I grabbed all his shit out of my motherfucking room, show the fuck did, put that shit in the trash bag, put that shit in the trash can in front of his motherfucking house, drop the keys and every damn thing out that motherfucker, and rolled over that shit, and then left. Hmm. We did get back together a couple days later, which I don't understand. He must have been crazy as hell. Because that was some petty shit. Ooh, I ought to beat my own ass if I did some shit like that. Oh, my God. Next question, honey. The next and final question. Yeah. Mm. And the blood is out again at the last question. Yeah, period. Comes from Austin Tate. Austin Tate sounds like he country. You know what I'm saying? Like a good old country bumpkin. Ooh, okay. Hey, Austin. <laughs> Let me stop. Any other YouTuber you like or dislike? Listen, when it comes to drama on YouTube, it is a couple YouTubers that I do not like. Like, every now and again, they will post a video that's like, oh, okay, I can watch this video, but I don't like them, y'all. Trisha Paytas. Sorry, not sorry, y'all. I do not like Trisha Paytas. I feel like she is so controversial, and I feel like she gets off on making people upset, and that is just not cute to me. I cannot deal. As far as YouTubers that I like, Lord, the list goes on and on and on and on and on, y'all. I like a lot of y'all. I love Shane. I like Jeffrey, Morgan, you know, Tati. I like James sometimes, you know, when he ain't in no mess. Um... Yeah, just like a lot of YouTubers, right? Alrighty, guys, there you have this fun and cute, and I am very high quarantine Q and A. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a big old thumbs up, as well as check out all my social media in the description box below. You guys can come follow me if you guys want to. Don't forget to, you know, love yourself, love somebody else. You guys share this video with a friend, subscribe, like all that good shit, honey. I'm gonna see you guys next time. This is.